Hello, people of Canton. I'm your host, Do Damon Domino, and these are my two guests of the oh-so-famous foosball rivalry, Scott Scottsburg and Cardi Ketchup. Now, for today, Scott, I can I, what I've heard, at least, you are losing the Ultimate Series. And if you guys don't know, there are many series where it's one game, and that counts one point to the Ultimate Series. The score right now is three to one. Scott is losing by two points. Well, yes, Damon, uh, there's no doubt that currently I am losing, but I think all of the fans will agree that nobody thinks that this is going to last. I've got Cardi exactly where I want him. It's going to be an easy slam dunk, come from behind victory. Yeah, and that's going to be me. I see, I see. Now, Scott, your foosball team. So, your goalie. You, you, it's Larry Lincoln, isn't it? Larry is Lincoln, right? yes. He's a, he's a superstar in this league, really. Uh, scores a lot of two-pointers for us. Uh, but our goal is always uh, about offense, and really the game starts with our star forward, who really just makes a mockery of Cardi uh, almost every time we go on the court. Mm -hmm. And now, Cardi, mm -hmm. I heard that your goalie, Jerry, yeah. Jerry Jomino, yeah. uh, a recent cousin of mine, <laughs> uh, Jerry Jomino, I heard that he loves giving up points for you. Same as Larry, but not as much as, uh, not a lot more than Larry, I'm sorry. See, here's the thing is we've actually hired his goalie to help us, which is why he's given so many goals away to us. So oh. it's, he's but still, possibly our team they don't captain. know why I'm winning. It's because I've paid him double and he works for me. Oh, I see, I see. So there's a two-way betrayal here. Mm -hmm. Now, mm. Out, of, out, of, out of your respective opinions, which one do you think will win this? Not, well, obviously you're going to think yourself, but That's honestly, true. who do you think is going to win this? I'll answer for Cardi. He's very intimidated by yeah. me every time we get on the court. You can see the fear in his eyes. Even the announcers recognize it. If you listen to the broadcast, everyone pretty much knows where this is going. So, uh, yeah, Cardi's quite frightened. Yeah, but he still yeah. wins. I see, I see. Now, honestly... Your, your forward, Hamburger. <coughs> I mean, I can't believe it, but he gets so many goals. How does he do it? Well, uh, basically we tell him, you're uh, disgracing the team if you don't score. And uh, sometimes he listens. I see. So, about the uh, Burger Twins. Ketchup and Hamburger. Hamburger being your star forward, and Cheeseburger being honestly a disappointment to your team. Cardi, I'm going to be honest with you right now. It's literally only your... Uh, uh, F more forward forwards. I, I don't know foosball. What, what do I look like, a nerd? I'm going to answer your question with a question of my own. Um, are you aware of the fact that uh, in the foosball world, I'm practically the biggest name that there is, and therefore you are in the presence of uh, you know, a celebrity? Uh, how does it feel to have me here on your talk show? I mean, well... Probably boosting and I, viewership through and the I, roof. And I'm one of the biggest celebrity names uh, in the actor and... TV show. We're Let me interrupt here. Hold on, hold on. No, Cardi. no, no, no. Now, how Excuse does it feel? Who are you again? I'm Cardi exactly. Ketchup. This show is named after. <laughs> now, it should be an honor for me to invite you onto my show. Yes. Now, it is a big honor for you, for me to meet you, and it's a big honor for you to meet me. But I honestly have no idea who you are, Cardi. Aw, you will though when I beat him and take the crown of foosball. Ooh. I'd like to let the audience know right now that the <laughs> crown is, has been, and will continue to be mine. <coughs> uh, that's a joke. <clears throat> you know, well, uh, when I signed this contract to come on your show and boost your ratings, I didn't realize that he was going to be here. Um, I don't know if well, I can continue this uh, if, partnership if, if, too if, long. If, if you read the fine print, I mean, it's like the one thing that you should read on a contract. Uh, it said that your rival could be on here, possibly. Now, oh, I see the confusion. I don't really look at him as a rival. You know, I, I play a lot of big name players. Um, that, that's, that's, I understand now. I see where uh, my agent so, was confused. Wait. Okay. You're basically saying that all those players are good, right? What if I told you that I'm them in disguise? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. That's now, let's get back to the theory. question. Let's get back to the question. Cheeseburger and hamburger. Mm. Cheeseburger and Hamburger brothers, they've been in the rivalry for so long. They're on the two separate teams, the Scots and the Ketchups. Now, Cheeseburger, you've, we've heard that you've been putting a lot of pressure on him, and that's why he's been usually choking. Yeah, I have, but I pay him a lot of money, too. 
That's why he does okay in the games, but still chokes a little bit because he demands more money. Now, let's talk about Hot Dog. That's Scott's. He's your uh, star He's defense. my star defenseman, yes. Been carrying the team, really. Um, you know, when we first signed our star forward, Hamburger, we, uh, you know, in the minor leagues, he led the league in scoring year after year, so we thought he was going to be a big addition to our team, which he has been. But there's no question that uh, Hot Dog's really been the leader on our team. Mm -hmm. Now, Cardi, you're, I, I think you're star defenseman, uh, Dog Hot. Mm -hmm. What do you think about him? Tell He's us. a really good player. He kind of beats his star forward every time because whenever he tries to score, whenever his star forward tries to score, he just like comes in and swoops victory every time. He used to be the mid-air shot champion, but now it's dog hot, uh, dog hot because he just took it away. Mm. Now, for both of you. Out of context. Now, for both of you, what do you guys give your players as refreshments and food? Gatorade. Gatorade? And Monster. Everyone needs Monster. And Monster, okay. Powerade and Red Bull. I see, I see. So, now, what I've heard is that Scott's team, overall, he has an overall 98. Cardi, your team has an overall 87. Can you explain how you're, how it's 3-1 to one right now? It's 3-1 to one because, uh, as you see, you can clearly see I'm smaller than him and weaker than him. So, That's true. in the old times, I have had some losses against him. That's one of the reasons. That's the score. But in the Ultimate Series, I've come back better, and now I'm beating him. So mm. Mm. I see, I see. And now, if you may not know, this Ultimate Series gives you a total of 100 more scores in the big score chart, okay? So if I win this, I'm going to be much more ahead of him. Mm. Now, for all you folks out here, I'm here to tell you that this video is sponsored by Mons Bowl, uh, the new star energy drink of the Foosball League. Mm. Thank you. Now back to our questions. I'm afraid I actually, uh, you know, my contract said I could only stay for a certain amount of time before I signed autographs for the fans, and so I, uh, I'm afraid I don't have too much more time on the show. Uh, like I said, I... I think he's kind of frightened that I'm here and he wants to leave. I'm suspecting that too, because uh, on the contract you said unlimited. I need to get a new agent. <laughs> so, back to what I was saying. Now, d are there any comments about your team, like boost your team's morale? Like, what do you guys do when you guys are, in, are losing? Uh, what I basically do is tell them to win, because if he wins, they're not getting them, their monsters. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, really, I just uh, I remind them who they're playing for, mm -hmm. and that inspires them. Now, uh, he reminds them they're playing against me, so they have to do better. That, you both mm -hmm. are U.S. teams, correct? Or are you foreign? I, I mean, I don't know. Again, I'm not foosball. foosball We're from league. the illustrious city of Cantonio, yes. Um, Cantonio? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, the Cantonio uh, City Champion Kings of the World. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of our team name. It's our logo and our motto. Now, are you guys planning to uh, go worldwide? We are already wor worldwide. We're the two uh, best players in the world. You're national right now. No. Yeah. You, you just said you don't know the football I think world. what Cardi's trying to say is that, yes, we will be competing at the World Championship, and we will be representing uh, the U.S. in the Olympics, yes. This right. Ultimate Series is kind of a personal event between the two of us to decide who's better. All right. Well, I appreciate you two being on my show. Uh, I hope you guys have a great football championship. My money's on Scott, just saying. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. That has been our show, folks. I appreciate your pleasure. time, and that's it. Hello everybody, my name is Avery and welcome to Owl Productions. Today we are doing interviews with the two famous people, Amina Patterson and Joshua Evans. So today we're going to be asking them questions about what they think and stuff. So yeah, let's get started. So Amina, what is your favorite color? <laughs> oh no. <Wow. laughs> lavender. It's lavender. That's lovely. Josh, what about you? Um, I believe my favorite color is uh, dark green. Yeah. That's very nice. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amina, next question. Mm -hmm. If you were in a zombie apocalypse and you had to take one person with you to survive, who would you bring? I'd probably bring my best friend because you people would be no use. Hey, hey, That's hold up. So now I can kill like a few zombies. You might die in the process, but you know. 
Josh, what about you? Who would you uh, I'd probably take my brother because, you know, he's big. He could probably kill a few zombies. <laughs> Oh, it That's went. so lovely. All right. Okay, you guys. Last question. Last but not least. What do you guys think of the Netflix show Magic School Bus? I'm mad. I'm mad because it's not the original. Like, like it, everything's different now. Who is this new teacher? Who are these students? It's Mrs. What is Frizz's this? sister. No. Yes? No. Yes? Miss Frizzle never had a sister. Yes, she did. She did? Yes, she did. Well, I missed that part, okay? <laughs> if she never mentioned her sister... Everything was all cool. It was all about science and whatever. And they used to go into people's intestines and it was cool. And now everything's different. <laughs> okay, that is such a lovely yet deep answer. What about you, Joshua? Well, honestly, I think that the people who made it should get go take better drawing lessons. Oh. Because <laughs> I saw it, I was like, why are their heads so big? <laughs> And so, like, Amina over here said, it's not like the original, and, like, they used to do a bunch of crazy stuff, and, like, I was shocked. Disappointed. And, yes, disappointed. And they should bring back the old people who used to make the episodes. Even if they're dead, they can, you know, revive them. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that is all, folks. I hope you enjoyed our production. I'm saying sayonara today. Um, have Look a great day. Bye. Hello. Welcome to Jariah Productions. Today, I'm here with Damon Domino and Kayla Wingbird. Today, we'll be talking about Naruto, the show, and the games they produce. So, uh, Damon, what do you know the basic premise of Naruto? Yes. Now, before I answer that question, preferably... Anime, I, I don't watch it a lot. I mean, Naruto, I was introduced and stuff. Uh, also, like to give out a shout out to my good guy, Zion Lion 24. He's pretty uh, Gucci lip fam. Um, but anime, in my opinion, is for nerds. But I'm just stating that. But as you're as you're answering your question, so yes, I know the basic premise of Naruto. You got your boy, uh, orange yellowish hair, uh, ninja headband on. Uh, I got, got that uh, Hidden Leaf Village stuff and runs like a weeaboo. Uh, he got like that kunai and stuff. He got like that uh, uh, jutsu or whatever. And uh, yeah, that's the <laughs> basics of Naruto. Okay. Avery, can you, do you mind if you sum up what he said? Yes. Okay, so there's this ninja. His name is Naruto. Naruto... <coughs> He was born with a demon inside of him because his father had to save the village by giving up his life, so they put the demon inside of him to protect the village. In the village, th everybody hates him, so he's always lonely. No, he doesn't really have any friends, so he wants to become a Hokage, so people know him, respect him, and yeah, pretty much Gosh, sums it up. Okay. Uh, next question. Um, it's a bit of a quiz question. Do you know what qui what team he's on? The his team number. Weeb Team Six. That is incorrect, Damon. Uh, team Seven. Yes, that that is correct, uh, Damon. I I think you should uh, brush up on your Naruto. <laughs> um, I as I said before, I don't watch anime. Anime is for nerds, in my opinion. But I, I I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. Okay. Third question, do you, what do you, who's farthest in Naruto? I believe it is Avery. Yes, I'm okay. on season False. two. Actually, I finished the entire series. Okay, did you watch Nar regular Naruto and Shippuden? Yes. What was your um, thoughts of the outcome? I mean, in my opinion, disappointing. I wanted to see Sasuke actually die. I mean, in my opinion, but I mean, Obviously, it's the, develop it's the creator's decision. And I got to say, though, fight scenes on point with that. Shippuden definitely did a lot better than uh, original. Yes, yes, I also think so. So, Avery. Yes? Are you paying attention? Yes, I am. All right. Um, this is a question specifically for Avery. You? Um, what did you think of Zabuza? Zabuza? I think he's actually kind-hearted if you get to know him and don't get on his bad side. Okay, good answer, good answer. Uh, this will be the final question, and it is for Damon specifically. 
Um, r do you remember the fight scene between Naruto and Pain? Naruto and Pain. Ah, Naruto and Pain. Yes, yes. Naruto. Now, it's been a few, it's been about a year or two ever since that fight. I don't remember much of it, but I do remember that Naruto won the second battle, but not the first. There, well, to correct, there wasn't really a second, second battle. Second battle, I it know. It was just a whole huge, huge battle. battle. Like, and the editor, I think it was an amazing battle because the editors, or no, the cre the creators and like the drawers, they made it so fast paced. Like, they didn't stop at all. And the drawing style, it was different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I mean, I do, I, I know you're coming from. That's like one of the main things I remembered about it, about how it's a different art style and everything. Now, honestly, like what I mean by first and second battle, it, it's, uh, it's kind of a cliche with anime, especially with Naruto. At first, they don't succeed at defeating him or her, not assuming genders <laughs> or anything. And then, uh, well, after a few times, fillers or whatever, uh, they go back to the battle and they win. That's what I mean by first and second battle. But with the exception of Naruto versus, Naruto versus Pain, it was one huge battle. Okay. Well, that's the end for our show. Thank you for Actually, watching. Actually, wait. Before I finish, Kakashi is the best character. Sir? We're ending this This is show. my show. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Do you, you understand who I am? I'm Damon Domino. I don't know It you. is an honor. I have my own talk show. That doesn't this mean is why this thing only has five viewers. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching Jiraiya Productions. Have a nice day, everyone. Hello and welcome back to 21st Century Dance. This is a Scotty K production and I'm here with two of the most famous dancers worldwide. We have Madison Adams and Jaden Green. Ladies, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, how are we doing today? Good. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, excellent. Now Madison, um, we've got a lot of fans outside lined up for autographs. Uh, can you tell us just a little bit about what makes you such a world-class dancer and why people love to watch you dance? I guess um, my dancing is unique. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I think just people just like me. People just like you. It's a it's a personality thing. Sometimes you know your personality yeah. shines through the dance. That's uh, <laughs> one of the greatest things I think about you know your career so far. In Jaden, there can be no doubt that you have your signature dance. It's the dance that everybody comes to see. Uh, can you tell us just a little bit about how you stumbled upon to that work of art? Well, you know, I was just. Uh, thinking at my house one day, being bored, like always. And um, I just stumbled upon it, you know? Sometimes greatness just hits you. Now, <laughs> I understand that uh, there's occasionally some rivalry between the two of you, considering you are, both of you, the two top dancers in the world. Some people think <laughs> Jaden is the best, and others think Madison is the best. Can you tell me about how this uh, rivalry has affected your uh, relationship with each other? So, um... I think, can you repeat the question? <laughs> How has the rivalry between the two of you being the best dancers in the world affected your relationship with each other? Is there a personal competition? Do you get annoyed with each other? Or are you happy when you see the other one succeed? Well, I'm definitely not happy when I see her. Um, <laughs> um, I think because she knows that I'm such a good dancer, she's just jealous. Mm. Mm. Jaden, are you jealous? No, shade's being thrown, <laughs> as you can see. Um, see, I've known her for a long time, and um, obviously I'm better, but like, if she succeeds, then I, she succeeds, you know? Now, Madison, <laughs> a lot of people have talked about the fact that, uh, you know, there are things that you could learn from Jaden in the dance world. Do you agree with this? Oh. And if so, what do you think has made her so successful? I think I've made her so successful. No, we've known each other for a long time, and I feel like she's following after my footsteps. <coughs> so she's trying to say that I want clout, but like that's not <laughs> that's not how it works. Cause I became more successful before she was even on the, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, Jaden, <coughs> where's your food? It is true that Madison rose to frame to fame before you did. Did you see anything that she did that helped you maybe get a, a leg up yourself? No, I'd be myself, you know. Mm. Just gotta. Himself. And now, finally, the question all the fans have been dying to know. Were you friends before you hit the worldwide major dance yeah. professional scene? Yes. Yeah. And would you call yourself friends now? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. You heard it here <laughs> first, folks. Now, why would you say it is that your friendship has deteriorated because since Madison hitting the scene? 
Um, Madison is very, um, she's kind of competitive and you know, it's kind of hard to be friends because she's always like putting you down, you know? Some would say uh, <laughs> the title at times has been snatched, if you will. <laughs> Madison, uh, final question for you before we move on to our uh, you know, last round of questions. If you had any advice for up and coming dancers who are trying to make it big like you did, what would you uh, give them? I would say be unique and do not follow after Jaden's footsteps. Hmm. Now Jaden is, at the moment, the highest rated dancer in the world, so it seems That's footsteps fun. that you'd want to follow, but perhaps not. <laughs> Jaden, if you were to give any advice to young aspiring dancers, what would you say? I'd just say be you, you know, take, do what you want to do. If nobody likes it, I mean, just still be you. Hmm. Words of wisdom. And final question for this evening of our show. Madison, how long do you think you'll be in the dance business? For a long time, until I'm not able to <laughs> think again. <laughs> Very good. And Jaden, how long do you anticipate yourself staying at the top of the dance scene? Um, I anticipate staying at the top for, you know, as long as I can, staying, doing what I'm doing, you know? Mm. Well, that's all the time that we have. It's been an honor to have the two greatest dancers in the world on the show. Maybe next week we'll see that Madison has oh taken Jaden's spot at the so top. Cringy. Maybe Jaden will remain. Tune in next time to find out. <laughs>